Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome to race 21 of season 3 on our Williams playthrough here on F1, 20, F1 Manager 21. Uh, we are pretty much at the very, very end of the series now. We've only got this race and then one more to go. Uh, and then that's it for Williams. We will not be doing any more Williams racing uh, with this game. However... We will still be continuing with our challenge mode series and the new series of that starts this Friday. So, uh, hello to everyone in the comments. Uh, Mr. Watto, Martel, good to see you guys. Uh, we might well see a brand new driver's champion tonight. Uh, the gap between the two drivers, as you can see, is 42 points. There are a maximum of 52 points available over the next two Grand Prix. That's a win and fastest lap for both for both races. George Russell only needs a few points in this race to guarantee that uh, he is going to be the drivers' world championship. Gasly basically needs a miracle to uh, make sure that he can actually close it. If uh, if George can knock up just a few points or Gasly doesn't get a win, then it's pretty much game over. Uh, so we are ready to go straight to the race. Let's set our targets uh, as we usually do. Evening Farah, good to see you. Uh, this is probably going to be the hardest of all the races that we try and do this last or first challenge on just the nature of this circuit the fact that our car is getting weaker in comparison to the rest of the grid as the season comes to its conclusion because we've stopped development on it uh, and the fact that the tires do lose pace quite quickly if you push them too hard for too long uh, on this circuit so yeah it's going to be very tricky i think to actually definitely get the one two uh, if we can get a win, that will keep the streak going, which is what we would like to see. Um, and are we going to see a new world champion today? Let's find out as we head to Sao Paulo. The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades and soon will once again be watching the best drivers in the world give it their all. The Sao Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing challenge for teams and drivers alike. Between medium speed S corners, hill climbs and the high speed section after Jun Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. Let the weekend begin. And we've got a wet race as well to add extra spice and extra drama to this Grand Prix. Uh, heavy rain in the race is going to be dry practice and dry quality. Uh, let's get these cars set up. Let's start by swapping out the engines. Uh, so we've got to go with these engines. Because the other ones are either almost dead or actually dead. Uh, ERS modules, we're going to go with the weaker of the modules for those as well. There we go. Uh, gearbox, we're going to go with the weaker gearboxes. Again, if we have a wreck in practice and wipe out parts, uh, it could have a disastrous knock-on effect. As we saw with Vettel in the last Grand Prix and also Leclerc during the race itself, we saw just how slow he was during the Grand Prix. And uh, Let's see. We want 21 laps. Uh, drop the pace. Uh, it's also George's turn to sit out for Ollie. There we go. And let's start setting these cars up. So, uh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Let's go with a 12 and a half rear wing. We'll start with a 7, a 12, 5, and 1, 9 is not going to work at all. <clears throat> okay, so we'll convert this to a 6, 5, a 13, a 4, 6, a <clears throat> 3.1, and a 0. There we go. And for this one, we'll try the 6, 
twelve five two eight three point four five and a point five and let's see how that works. Uh, radio check. So I am feeling a little bit sniffly today. I will try and keep the sniffles to a minimum. Uh, just doesn't, I don't think that's going to sound very pleasant for you guys listening to that. So I'll try and uh, avoid sniffing directly into the microphone. Uh, but yeah, feeling a little uh, run down today. Hopefully I'll be a fine. It won't affect the stream, hopefully. Just be a hundred percent for Friday. <laughs> Someone's looking forward to season three of uh, Challenge Mode. Right, a lock up for Ollie. Oh, lock up there. What was the balance, please? Uh, Gasly's car is nailed straight out of the gate. That is fantastic. Okay, copy that. A little bit more work needed on this one. Let's call him in. How was the balance? Okay, so we're going to go to a 13 wing on this one as well. Uh, let's go with uh, a 7, 13, 2, 8. Actually, the 2, 8 needs to change. So we'll go 7, 13, 3, 7, 3.2, and a 0 0.20. Uh, we do need to step that a little bit more, I think. Let's try that. There we go. Let's try that. That gives us a little bit of movement on the oversteer as well as the braking and cornering. Yeah, that'll do. Need to change the tyres. They really do not last long here. So Behrman's back on track. Gasly's into the pits. We know his car is already set up spot on, so we just need to change tyres and send him straight back out again. There we go. Uh, well, glad you're feeling better, Mr. Water. Yeah, hay fever is horrible. I don't really suffer with hay fever that much anymore, uh, every now and again. But when I was a kid, I used to suffer really badly with hay fever. Kind of grew out of it in my uh, late teens into my early 20s. Uh, what 
have we got? 84%, so it's an improvement, but it's not a great improvement. Disappointing. Okay, so we've gone the wrong way on the cornering and the traction, and the front wing's way too much as well, so we're going to have to bring this back and do that, I think, with a front wing angle. Let's try... That's got to go that way, I think. Let's put that back to a 7. There we go. Let's go with that. A 3.1 and a zero let's see if that's going to be good enough uh do i have time to send him out for another quick blast yeah it's not worth it we'll we'll leave it for george to run There we go. Our practice is done for session one. And once again, I'm not seeing any reserve drivers in the uh, in the pack from the rest of the grid. Fail 84, please. Fail 84. Oh, wow, look at all those penalties. Albon, Porsche, Perez, Magnussen, Joe, Lando, nobody else, but that's a lot of penalties. It's a lot of new engines that we're going to have to fight our way past, I think. <laughs> Surprised Leclerc's not in that list. Surely, actually, I've got to have a look. Uh, results. Uh... It won't show me. Uh, we'll have to check in the next session, but surely they've changed the gearbox in Leclerc's Ferrari. Right, we do need to make changes here. Didn't we make changes already? It just didn't save the changes. Ah, nuts. Okay, I've got to do the, all that again. So was it a 3.1 and a 0? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to just run softs. So we're going to try and save an extra set of mediums and an extra set of hards for the race. Plus, we're not qualifying, so we can afford to burn through softs, uh, which is quite handy. Uh, let's see, how many laps do I need to do for George? About 40... Oh, no, wait, he's... Uh... Oh, he's on a single run, isn't he? Ah, nuts. All right, let's try and do 30... I don't think those tyres are going to last, but we'll, we'll do 28 laps. If we can. He is actually... Oh, he never knows. It's possible. It's highly unlikely I'll be able to squeeze 40 laps out of these, but... We are running them at a low pace setting, so you never know. Um, they'll be pretty much dead by the end of the stint, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're going to go with 27 laps for Gasly, I think. And off we go. The radio is good. You can hear me, yeah? Radio check, okay. Radio check, okay. 
Oh wow, even with more fuel, Russell is still faster. Yeah, and he's through. Alright, let's get Gasly to just stay behind him. Have I read that right, or is Gasly... Yeah, he's pulling away, look. That's the difference in car components. Oh, yes, Leclerc. Yeah, new gearbox, look. There we go. New gearbox for Verstappen. New gearbox for Perez. New-ish gearbox for Vettel. That would have been new in the last race. New gearbox for Vashore. No lap type data for Magnussen yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, new engine for Magnussen. And a new ERS module as well. Uh, Albon has a new engine. New gearbox for Stroll. No data for Porsche yet. New engine for Joe. Oh, man, this is going to be a rough race. This is going to be a really rough race. The weather's going to make things interesting, uh, and nothing for Schumacher. That's a lot of drivers with new components. Did somebody spin out there? muted then because otherwise I would have just blown your eardrums out with some very noisy nose blowing. Should be fascinating. Yeah, I mean, when you combine all those parts with us starting at the back of the grid and the wet weather, oh yeah, it's going to be a very interesting race. Look how close the field is again. And again, with, with everyone having new engines, we're looking at, what, half a second between 1st and 15th. Give or take. Again, we can't read too much into it. It is practice after all, but even so, that's a lot. Uh, only 68%. I should probably send it back out with a... A new set. Get a few extra laps in. I mean, how are Brussels times? They're now to forty percent. It's a repeat of yesterday. Um, no, not so much. Uh, Yesterday, I always knew we would have a really strong chance because of the way that, you know, we can usually get better tire strategy out of the uh, the race than the AI, but yeah, not here. 
you know, the way the tyres wear out, softs are pretty much nullified. Copy that. It's down to mediums and hards, and there's not a huge amount of difference in tyre life between the compounds on this circuit. And with the rain, God knows what's going to happen. There's a, a lot less chance of safety cars at this circuit. I mean, there's still a chance of them, but it's reduced. Keeping Russell out as long as I can. See if I can get him over 50%. Leads up to about 75%. That's good enough. Gonna run out of fuel any moment now. How many laps is this? 45. Wow, I could actually squeeze that many laps out of those tyres. I mean, they're pretty much ready to explode, but that's good. So I know I can put him out for 45 odd laps in the next session to get him up to 100%. Uh, I do need to tweak the car setup again. It's still only 92%. Still off. Okay, that's gone to good. So that needs to be a 4.6 then, I think. That needs to come back to about there. That needs to go to maybe there. Leave that there. Oh, it's just... Uh, it's not going to work. It's going to break the rear wing. Maybe I've got to go there. Pull that back that way. Is that too much? I think it is. Loads of six five. I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> that isn't going to work on how much I do know. I'm definitely going to break the rear wing that way. Uh, it's got to be a 2.8 then if it's not a 3.7. The only question is how do I pull that back enough without breaking the rear wing in the process? Ah, oh, this is frustrating me trying to figure this one out. That's too much. I can't figure this one out. what we are right now uh, how can I get this down even more maybe this way that's still pushing up the wrong side of that uh, this one's breaking my brain gotta try that I think that's gonna be as good as I can get it
yeah, I've got to try that and hope. All right, uh, new set of softs. Uh, run plan, we want to go for 42 laps. Oh, wait, let me change that. <laughs> We're still in this session. Uh, there we go, just confirm the change. If I get this as a hundred percent on the next run, I'll be so happy. All right, changes are saved. Forty-two laps of fuel. Drop everything down. New set of softs. Uh, I want to go thirty laps of fuel. There we go. Make sure he's actually going to be able to finish the session. Three percent on the gearbox. It's pretty uh, touch and go. That was five percent. We'll make the switch <laughs> for that extra two percent. It could be crucial. Uh, and uh, let's send them back out for the final practice session. Yeah, we can now, we can now. Radio check. Yep. Someone's gone wide there. So, have I got this right? Please tell me I've got this right. Close, another few laps. Yes! How do you feel about uh, doing another lap on this set? I feel like Captain Holt from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Indication! All I did was get a setup right rather than uh, getting praised for a balloon arch. He runs wide, but he's done enough. He's got 100%, so we can call him in. Who's running wide there? You have no idea what that is. Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a hilarious uh, uh, cop comedy. It was on Netflix. So I don't know if it still is. I haven't had Netflix for years now. But if it is, you should definitely watch it. Andre Drummond plays uh, Raymond Holtz. Um, I'm forgetting everyone else's names. Oh, God. Andy Samberg is, um, is the lead character.
Jake Peralta, that was his character's name. God, my brain just went completely shut down for a second then. Someone's run wide! Sorry, so just run out. Okay, understood. And there we go, we can call Russell in now. That'll be 100% for him. Sounds like there's been a crash. Alright, Stroll's out. Well, not out, but he's uh, in the wall. And that is practice done. Couple of cars off there. Oh, that's a Ferrari. Is that Leclerc? Has he wrecked another gearbox that's just gone in the car? Sounds like a few cars have crashed. Let's have a look. Okay, here's the Ferrari. I think it's science. Oh, oh no! And there's the crash. Mark my words, there'll be questions asked. Was that the other Ferrari in the background that almost went spearing into the uh, the crashed car? No, it was an Alfa Romeo. We are done with practice. Oh, we've had a spin. All right, buddy. Good job once again. Uh, see you in the office shortly. And uh, once again, we're going to sit out Quali. That was a big wallop, yeah. So Albon, Magnussen, Joe Porsche, Perez, Norris, Vashore. They are the penalties for now. Maybe another one will get picked up in Quali. You never know. Put on the good bits, ready for the race. So best, oh, no, not buying a new engine. There we go. Eighty-seven percent engines for both our cars. Eighty-one percent ERS modules for both our cars. And 96% gearboxes for both our cars. So, identical machinery. It really is going to come down to the drivers themselves. Radio check. Yeah, all good. That's green light. Bottas looking very quick again. Oh, so's Ricardo. Oh, did someone run wide there? And look at Joe. Joe goes top. Wow, can you imagine that? Joe qualifying on pole. 
That'll be amazing. Verstappen is in trouble at the moment. He should get a clean run here. Depends if he gets held up by Stroll. Should be enough to get him through, though. And look at that. Zhou in fourth. Schumacher's out in 16th. Very, very different story for both of the uh, Aston drivers there. Magnussen takes what? Porsche is second. That's crazy. Oh, well, there's new engines, but even so. All right, how's the rest of the quality going to end up? Race day has arrived, and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Williams has been struggling this weekend, as reflected by their current grid position. But we've seen teams come back from worse results. This has the potential to be an exciting race for them. We saw a reasonably good qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they certainly have a good chance to capitalize during the race. And the clouds today look very ominous, which means that teams may have to contend with rain at some point during the race. As ever, though, the teams will be paying close attention to their strategies as the race approaches. Here we go, folks. This is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. All right, so we don't know the exact penalties that people are taking, uh, but we know there's a lot of new parts out there. This is how Quali ended. Max took pole from Bottas, then Sainz, then Perez, who has got a penalty. Uh, but that, I think, is just a three-place penalty because he was involved in that crash at uh, Mexico last night. Uh, then Leclerc, Alonso, Albon, Joe and Magnussen, each with a penalty. Uh, I, those are all for new parts, I believe. So those three should be dropping towards the back of the grid. Norris, I don't know if that's a penalty for a collision or a new part. Uh, Porsche, that's a new engine, I think. And uh, for sure with a new engine as well. So there's going to be at least two drivers behind us. Maybe three from Norris. Who knows? Maybe even Magnussen will start behind us as well. It's going to be interesting. Let's have a look at strategy. See when that race is... Uh, or when the rain's due to fall. It's going to be right towards the end of the Grand Prix. And we were promised heavy rain on the forecast. But it doesn't look like it's going to be heavy. Okay, so here is the question. Do I go medium, medium and try and stretch those to the rain? Or do I start on the hards and go to the mediums, which I think is probably what might be the better option. And then we're going to go to Inters there. And we might need to go to full wets for a couple of laps. We'll have to see as the rain starts falling. Uh, yeah, let's let's go that way. Actually, let me have a look. Oops. It is quicker to start on the hards compared to the mediums, I think. Uh, let me try readjusting. Yeah. Going hard to mediums is going to be better than medium, medium. It's going to save us about six seconds, seven seconds. <laughs> so that's our strategy then. We're looking at stopping on lap 30, uh, sorry, 28 and lap 49. Let's put that in here as well. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take... Do I take a lap of fuel out? I'm not going to take any fuel out, I think. Don't know if I'm going to be able to save a full lap of fuel. And still be fast. Where am I starting? 16th and 18th. Oh, 
screw it, let's take a lap out, just to make things even more interesting, I suppose. Plus, if we do get a safety car, that will help us out. Uh, right, let's go to Sao Paulo. It's a somewhat overcast day for the drivers, who've now taken position on the grid. And here, we have George Russell. They're in the back half of the pack, so they'll need to work hard if they want a podium finish. Next for the team, it's Pierre Gasly. Slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. Will their hard work pay off today? And now, it's time for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. All right, I don't think anyone else is starting on hards. No, they're not. They're all on mediums and softs. So this could be interesting. And we know that some of these drivers are going to be pushing very hard because they're going to be on new engines. Porsche, Magnussen, uh, both with new engines coming up from behind. Uh, Perez struggling to get past uh, Vashaw, who's running a new engine. Good job. This one's good. Uh, Gasly is up past and Norris. No, Sonoda, sorry. Yeah. There's Russell got past Sonoda, Gasly got past Norris. And now we've potentially got a run on Perez. And we do, we complete the move. Good job with everything so far. In the background, Gasly going side by side with uh, Sonoda. Just gained by Williams. And immediately goes uh, goes on through. Okay, that's good. Yeah, very good. We are almost certainly going to have to do some fuel saving in this race. Question is when and how much. Russell really having a crack at uh, the inside of a shore there and gets him. Okay, good job. That's good stuff from, uh, from Russell there. He's uh, looking to wrap this title up with a bit of style by the look of it. Lee is languishing a little bit. And Magnuson's at a spin. Sounds like someone's locked up. Oh, Here's lock up. The replay. Now just focus on the Hass. Well, they've locked up. They won't have been happy about that. DRS enabled. DRS enabled. Oops. Oh dear, a bit sneezy. Like Russell's on a tear right now. I didn't expect him to be this quick getting through the field on hard tyres. But uh, he's all over the back of Joe. He's making great progress. Uh, Gasly is all over the back of Perez and he's through. Okay, good job, thank you. Let's have a see a replay of that one. Because he's immediately going to go on the attack against for sure. We can take a look now. Now look at this. It's Pierre Gasly. Just dive down the inside there. 
Great move. Oh, is this... Thought we had a safety car for a second then. It's just a yellow flag. Sonoda's had a spin. Let's take a closer look. Now let's look at this. The focus on Sonoda. And that spin is undoubtedly... So, Vashor is vulnerable in DRS, and so is Yo. Both of them are outside of DRS range right now. Although I think Joe's probably going to get back in. Yes, he is. Good job. The field is not breaking away at the front at all. And there's an overtake from Williams. As Gasly does get past for sure. Now we see the Williams here. Yep, just slides on up the inside at turn... Uh, something. <laughs> I'm not Take sure, I think it's turn six. Their way through. Excellent work. That was a big... And the gap between our two drivers is the biggest gap in the entire field until you get all the way down to Magnussen. That's pretty bonkers. More nose blowing. Blech. Right. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the field is really staying bunched up. It's going to make it hard for a lot of these drivers to try and get a run and overtake and fight their way back through because you no, know, everyone's in DRS. Paul Scherer has undoubtedly got a car that's capable of getting him up into the points right now. But he can't get anywhere because he hasn't quite got enough performance to get past Perez. And Perez is getting DRS off the back of Vashore. And Vashore's got a brand new engine, so Perez can't get past Vashore. It's, yeah, it's just a knock-on effect right now. And we've got an unbroken train from first all the way down to 14th to Gasly. Porsche finally gets past Perez. Look at this, they're going four wide down the back straight, or trying to. There isn't room for four cars. And Porsche, having just got back, back past Perez, immediately is under pressure to lose that position because he's getting boxed in by Vashore here. He's on soft tyres right now. He should be able to just sprint away if he can just get in front of that Haas.
Oh, it's a lockup. And that drops him all the way back to 19th. He's locked up and gone straight on. Meanwhile, back with our drivers as Perez gets past for sure. Russell and Gasly fighting tooth and nail, but not really being able to gain an advantage over the other. They have literally got identical machinery. Uh, they've both got 100% setups with 100% track knowledge and 100% car park knowledge, and they both have identical you know, pace stats. It's the other bits in their stats that is the difference maker. Uh, and every single one of their parts is matched identically in terms of wear, which is just incredible coincidence. So it is really right down to both, you know, a combination of luck and the drivers themselves that's going to determine this. It is really going to be a fascinating battle between them. All Russell has to do is finish ahead of Gasly and he wins the World Championship. It doesn't matter where they finish, as long as he finishes ahead of Gasly and that's a guaranteed world title. This is uh, on course to do it right now. Two Astons scrapping away. Schumacher is holding Joe back, mainly because of those soft tyres, but they're going to be going off soon. You might start to see a few gaps opening up. There's the tyre wear rate. You can see that not a huge difference between the mediums and the hards in terms of wear rate. There's only, what, 7% difference? Only 5% to uh, Bottas and Verstappen uh, compared to us. I'm going to save a bit of fuel at this point while we have the opportunity because we're not able to really move up yet. So we may as well try and at least get that out of the way. going wide look at that they've run there's Alonso let's have a look now watch this here's Alonso's car oh, oh he went very wide lost two places and uh, chopped right in front of the Alpine there that's opened up a little bit of a gap can he close that back up before the DRS don't think he can So we might have a breakaway group here. And Vettel is going to be very uh, aggressive here. He's got those soft tyres. Has he got enough life to make the pass? He's got a stroll all over the back of him. Two former teammates now uh, fighting tooth and nail. And the gap is increasing between Al, uh, Alonso and Ocon. So we have got a breakaway group at last. And the fighting in front between Ricardo and Ocon means they're in danger of getting uh, dropped as well now. Things are finally starting to uh, move a little bit. Classic Teo is a little harsh there for her, but not entirely inaccurate. It's not exactly driving a great car.
So yeah, this group is definitely falling further behind. Stroll trying to get past Vettel there. He's got the inside in the corner. Can he complete the move? Still side by side. Stroll even thinking of looking at the inside of Alonso there. Just about squeezes ahead of Vettel. And we are still all over the back of the cars in front of us, so I'm going to drop the tyre pace down as well. OK, uh, we'd like you to slow down, please. And here comes Stroll. Up the inside of turn one. We'll get the DRS coming out of turn three. And Stroll will move up into seventh place. There we go. Ocon and Ricardo did get back onto that group in front. Magnussen has caught back up and uh, passed his teammate. Norris now holding up Perez. Our tyres are overheating slightly despite the reduced pace. It's the dirty air increasing the uh, tyre temps. which in turn will increase the wear rate. All right, we saved half a kilo of fuel. Another half to go before I can really think about turning that off. And by then, Schumacher's tyres will be pretty much dead, I think. They're down to 50%. Ricard's at 48%. Porsche at 49%. Those guys are going to be boxing in the next couple of laps, I think. And they will almost certainly be going onto hard tyres. We can probably get away with dropping our pace down even more while we're in this uh, concert observation mode here. Porsche with the fastest lap so far. So Bottas leads from Verstappen, then the two Ferraris of Leclerc and Sainz, Ocon in fifth, Ricardo hanging on his sixth, but with tyres that are starting to really struggle. Alonso and Stroll scrapping over seventh as Stroll moves up, uh, and then Albon, Vettel, Joe, Schumacher, Russell ahead of Gasly at the moment, then four and a half seconds back is Norris Perez, the two Haases of Magnussen and Vashaw, and then Porsche and Sonoda. What sort of pace is Stroll doing compared to the leaders? About half a second slower. And also coming under pressure from Albon there, actually. 
and also on the attack against Stroll. It's getting quite spicy here in the battle for seventh place. Let's get an update on the rain. Looks like lap 49. Still, as things currently stand, might change as the race progresses. Gasly nearly, nearly finding room to sneak a move on Russell, who has now just been dropped. So we do need to up their tyre pace just a touch. Push, push. And this is Gasly's chance to get in front of his teammate. Has to finish in front of Russell as an absolute minimum. If he wants any chance of hanging on to his title, he's going to try and go around the outside. And he's still so evenly matched, it's unreal. Russell's going to hold on, but Gasly will have DRS again. Oh, they both do. And that's Gasly's chance gone, I think. For now, anyway. We are going to give Gasly priority when it comes to pits uh, in this Grand Prix. Just to give him every possible chance to hang on, you know, to take it to another Grand Prix. But, uh, like I say, I think it's very unlikely. Unless something happens to Russell, this is pretty much done and dusted tonight, I think. And then we go, we caught back up, so we'll just save the tyres again. In fact, we've actually saved almost enough to turn the conserve mode off on the fuel as well. Just get it down to a little bit more. And there we go, the soft tyres are in. So Ricardo, Vettel and Schumacher are in. That's going to open up some gaps. All of a sudden, Russell is going to be vulnerable coming out of turn three. So let's turn the fuel mix up for both drivers. Has Gasly got the run on the inside? I think he has. He has, so Gasly moves up. Russell having a look at the inside there. Closed the gap in front by about half a second, but Russell is going to have DRS on Gasly here. Is he going to be able to retake the position? Can okay, Gasly hold him back? I think Gasly's got to defend. Yeah, he's got him blocked. It does feel like the pace has picked up just a little bit. So let's uh, increase their tyre push uh, a touch more as Russell's looking at the inside. We need to push. And gets through. Copy. Let's get these two back onto the queue. We've got a bit of spare tyre life. Maybe we can look at potentially uh, switching on to a set of softs instead of mediums. All right, they're back in the queue again. So again, we're going to drop that tyre pace right down. Need to drop the pace. Yeah, okay. If we can get them on softs, we'll be blisteringly quick when we do make the stop. 
and given that the rest of the field's going to be on hard tyres, well, most of the field's going to be on hard tyres, some might be on medium, so let's have a look. Uh, Ricardo went hard, Vettel, Schumacher and Porsche all went hard as well. So yeah, I think we might be looking at a, a hard stop for all the medium runners. Oh, and that is Gasly running wide. But he keeps in range. Oh, they've run wide. Stroll now four seconds, 4.2 seconds off the back of Ocon. And here we go, Bottas and Leclerc, the first of the front runners to box. And Stroll, Alonso and Joe are all going to box as well. So this is where we need to up the tyre pace. Okay, push. Didn't go. actually see what everyone went on to there. Okay. I think it was hard tyres. Oh no, more mediums. Hard tyres for Leclerc. Oh, interesting. We're seeing a real change in strategy for some of these guys here. Uh, Stroll is on hearts. So is Joe. Alonso is on hearts. Perez is on hearts. Magnussen's on hearts. So just Bottas then. The only driver who's going for another set of mediums. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's get past Albon. Sainz and Ocon are in. And so is Albon. So it's a straight sprint now between these two. Sainz is going hard. Ocon's going mediums. What's Albon doing? Albon's going hard. Norris is going for another set of mediums. I'm sure it's a long way back, so it doesn't really matter what he's doing, but he's going for another set of mediums as well. So are we going to see the snap and box at the end of this lap? Porsche did a 112-1 on that last lap. That's quick. Verstappen's boxing. And 111.6 slash 111.7. Gasly has the fastest lap at bonus point that he needs for now. Verstappen has also gone mediums. Is he going to get beaten to the corner by Bottas? He should do. He's had that undercut. Is Ricardo going to jump him? He is, and so is Sainz. Wow, Verstappen really lost out there. the clouds starting to come out it's still going to be a while till the rain hits but it is getting a bit more overcast as you can see and again Russell defending well we are into the window on the next lap let's have a look at maybe going for a set of softs I don't think they're gonna last long enough 
we would need to go, well we can do it, we'd need to go to lap 32, 33. It would guarantee the fastest lap. But then we should probably get that on medium anyway. And here goes Gasly. Gasly goes through, so we're going to put Russell into charge. Let's go recharge on. Copy. We'll stick with the original plan. We'll go on to mediums. The softs will be really quick for a few laps, and then they'll start to fall away quite quickly. Mediums will last a bit longer. They won't have the same ultimate pace, but they'll be more consistent in their pace for a longer window. opened so right now Gasly is exactly where he needs to be he's in first place and he has the fastest lap but he will still not win the title if Russell finishes second This is how it will finish as things currently stand. Russell will win the title by 34 points with a race to go. So we need to find out who, let's have a look. We need to lose another nine points off Russell. So Russell needs to come, if Russell finishes in fifth or higher, he's world champion, assuming Gasly wins the race. If Russell finishes in sixth, it will go to a decider at Abu Dhabi. But he'll need like a, a point or something stupid like that. I think it'll only be a point that he'll need. Maybe two. Oh, we've got a spin. It's, it's, uh, it's Bottas. Big spin for Bottas. Let's see what happened there. Now we see Valtteri Bottas. <laughs> oh, that's a strange place to lose it. That's where they spin out. It's a very strange place to lose it. Is that another yellow flag in Sector 2? Someone running wide? Is that a lockup? Porsche. Yeah. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Well, they've lost it. They've locked up. Kept it out of the barriers. Good lad. He did lose a few positions in the process, but uh, at least he didn't destroy his front wing. Right, Russell is fully charged. Let's go recharge off. Copy. So, where are we going to feed out? Uh, somewhere around Joe, Stroll, Vettel, Schumacher. I really hope we can get out in front of those guys. Push 
position now on the tires. Yeah. Come on, buddy, keep pushing. Yeah, copy. Charge on, charge on. Okay. We're gonna let Gasly lose the position to Russell, potentially. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting Russell to uh, to swoop through there. Still might. I think there's a real risk that we might come out behind Alonso here. Feed out. Can he get out ahead of Joe? Don't know if he can. Desperately needs to. Here they come. Oh, it's going to be so close. Oh, he's not too bad. He's behind Alonso, but he's in the middle of that group as opposed to at the back of it. That is something. We've got a yellow flag in front. Somebody ran wide. I think it was Ricardo. It was. Let's take a closer look. Daniel Ricardo involved here. And they've gone wide. Very wide. That's not ideal. Not... Okay, that's good, very good. Box this lap, please. Box. Just about managed to catch that. I completely forgot to box Russell. <laughs> yes, box. Right, where's Russell going to feed out? Russell just about <laughs> squeezes in front of the group. I honestly didn't think he'd have the pace to do that. That was uh, that was mighty impressive. Charge up, good job. Yeah. Two cars out. Copy. Oh, we got a VSC. There's been contact. And several cars involved. Let's take a look at the replay. Now just focus on the hats. And there's the collision. It's caused absolute carnage. The hell was that? <laughs> Magnus just spun. I'm sure just turned and drove straight into him. Yeah. 
So that's both the Haas guys having to pit. If it was me, I'd be putting them both on soft tyres, knowing that the rain is just 10 laps away. No, sorry, 18 laps away. But that's me. The AI is probably going to put them either on hards or mediums. Probably mediums. Oh, no, my hards for sure. It's Magnuson might go mediums. I think he's already boxed on his, onto hards. Yeah, mediums for Magnuson. So Russell is now in a really strong position because uh, he's got a couple of cars between him and Gasly and he's got clear air in front of him. And he'll just cruise on up to the back of that group in front. No lift and coast required. Copy. So a recharge off. Yep, fine. <laughs> oh, I can feel a sneeze coming. <sighs> <laughs> it's trying to force its way. Oh, I hate this feeling when you know you're about to sneeze and you don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, I think I've, uh, <laughs> I think I managed to avoid the urge there. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the gap. Oop. There we go. So what is the gap? Uh, safety cars about to end. Let's up the pace for both of them. Let's go for a push. Copy. BSC ending, BSC ending. This is about six seconds DRS for enabled. Russell. DRS enabled. And I would imagine he's going to break the DRS to stroll Let's very go quickly. Go. Copy. Gas is going to dive up the inside on Joe here. He's got much more grip. Okay, that's good, Pierre. Very good. There we go. Stroll is outside of DRS range, so there should be an easy pass for Gasly on the main straight as well. Just gained by Williams. Uh, when are we expecting rain? I believe lap 49. Yeah, lap 49. Okay, a very good lap. So somehow Stroll managed to hold back Gasly. What about here? Uh, Gasly's not going to go for the overtake. He's stuck too far behind. This is hurting him now. He's going to have a look up the inside, like he did with Joe. Not quite. I didn't intervene on the uh, main straight for two reasons. One, I thought Gasly was going to be able to make the pass easily, and he didn't. <laughs> and two, I was busy blowing my nose. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get it done this time. Sainz moves up to second, scrapping with Verstappen. He gets into the lead. Verstappen nabs it back. Got to go with some battery here just to get him past. This is uh, really hurting. Oh, you can use the deploy. Yeah.
you can see just how much difference the slipstream makes when you don't have it. You know, he was in the clean air there, and he just really struggled to close the gap. There we go. He's going to dive up the inside here, thanks to his battery. And now we need to leave him in deploy just so that he doesn't get uh, gazumped on the main straight. And there's an overtake from Williams. We'll uh, tuck him in behind Russell when he catches up and uh, charge him back up again. You can see Russell just three seconds off the back of that uh, little group of uh, Ocon, Bottas and Leclerc now. Closing that gap very quickly. And you can see Gasly's tyres taking a bit more punishment, partly because he boxed the lap early, but also because he was stuck right on the gearbox and stroll for a couple of laps and not able to do anything. So now it's going to come down to uh, a little bit of patience. Very good Gasly look. retakes his fastest lap. And he will have enough pace to catch up to the back of Russell, but it might be only, it might only happen once Russell has caught the back of Leclerc and is going a little bit slower. Let's have a look at driver lap pace at the moment. Russell's lapping a second and a half faster than Leclerc. So yeah, he's going to be on him. He's going to be in DRS range very soon. And the field is still really close together when you consider just how uh, you know just how many laps we've done. I mean, the horses are kind of screwed, but that's because they uh, they hit each other and had lengthy pit stops as a result. And Sonoda had that really early spin, but everybody else is within striking distance of each other, really. And then we go Russell on the back of uh, this battle in front. So Gasly will close up pretty quickly now. And Russell makes some progress through this group before Gasly gets there. You can see Haas. The Haas are... Is that Magnussen? No, it's for sure. Driving around without a front wing. They don't have enough spares. So he's just going to be a mobile roadblock for the rest of the race. And with the rain coming, that's going to make things really... <laughs> really ridiculously unpredictable he could destroy someone's race Charge on, charge on. 
Yeah, definitely feeling under the weather. Bit of a cold coming on, I think. So, rain in about nine laps. Let's see if it's changed at all. No, nope, still predicting for lap 49. Of course, that's based on our weather centre, so it might be wrong. Russell trying to sneak up the inside of uh, Leclerc there. I think he's got him. He has. Nicely done. Judge off, judge off. Let's we'll see if Gasly can do the same. I'm trying to go three wide round the first corner. Now three wide round turn three. Is Russell going to get both of them? No, he has to tuck in. And that might actually give Gasly the run he needs on Leclerc. He's up the inside and he gets that move done. Russell getting squeezed okay, that's good. Very and good. having to cut inside helped Gasly there. Gave him the slipstream. Okay, charge on. Copy. Evening refill. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Russell's on the move again. Gets past Bottas now. And that's Russell into fifth place. That is enough for him to win the World Championship, regardless of what Gasly can do. Oh, now he's through against Ocon. Russell is just driving superbly. Has done all season. Okay, good job. Oh, and he runs wide and he chops right in front of Gasly. That was so nearly a bad crash. I gave him a compliment and he immediately now. threw it back in now my face. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's a vicious chop on his teammate there. I am going to be world champion and there's nothing you can do to stop me. That's what that said to, to Pierre there. Did he just about get back in the DRS as well? I think he did. Oh, that's an even bigger kick in the teeth for Gasly. That was his chance to maybe get back in front of Russell, but uh, he couldn't manage. John. Okay. Let's get uh, the battery charge back on for Gasly. 
Rain coming in just a handful of laps now. And we might not really be able to give Gasly priority on tyres when the rain falls, depending on when it falls on the lap. It's unlikely we'll make him do an extra lap. So we'll, he'll just have to stack up behind Russell. That's more than likely going to be the least... Uh, you know, the, the smallest of the two penalties. As Russell looks to take two cars in one corner. Oh, again, nice Russell job. just pulling out some crazy moves. And he's through. Here's the replay. Now we see the Williams here. Look at this. Dies up the inside and immediately straight on the attack. Side by side with Ocon, which he then goes on to complete that move as well. Superb stuff. Nice job. And there's an overtake from Williams. Charge off. Okay. So, as things stand in the championship, there you can see Russell will extend his championship victory and uh, just absolutely run away with the title. Gasly needs the win, Russell only needs fifth or higher. And uh, yeah, he's well on course to earn his title. taking it from his teammate four laps to go until the rain comes and we will try and just let this play out we're not going to try and get involved if we can oh that's a great move from Gasly diving up the inside of Bottas there that puts him in a great position to get past Ocon on the main straight here. Opens up the DRS, he's going to go around the outside and straight past him. Oh, Ocon trying to fight back. If he can stay alongside, he might re retake the position. I oh, know Gasly got the DRS again. Okay, did not expect that. That just moves him straight through. There is the wet weather warning. And 1.4 seconds the gap between the two drivers. Let's see what pace are they doing compared to the leaders. Uh, good pace. 1.3 seconds faster for Russell compared to Ricardo. So that gap to the front will disappear. Probably around the same time as everyone starts diving into the pits. And Bottas is boxing. Why is he boxing? His tyres aren't that bad. He's going onto a set of hard tyres right before the rain hits. Oh, the AI makes some stupid calls like this from time to time. They really need to patch this out for the next game. They just never take the weather into consideration. Ever until the weather's there we're three minutes away from you know intermediate tires and Bottas comes in for a set of hearts that's his race done he's down in 17th and he's going to have to box again in just a couple of laps
Gasly does look to have the edge on this circuit over Russell. He has been closing them down. He's into DRS just about. Can he hold it? I don't know if he got in. It's close. He did. He got him. So he's going to have a chance to actually get in front before the pit stops. That is going to be absolutely crucial for his race because it means Russell will have to stack up behind him. Oh, and we got Magnussen. No, not sorry, Magnussen. For sure, with his missing front wing still going around right in front of these two now. Oh, and yeah, he's getting in the way. He's getting in the way. I knew it would happen. And there goes Gasly's chance. He's got to do all that work again, and he hasn't got the time. Because it's going to rain on the end of the next... Well, it's going to rain on the next lap, I think. OK, let's box at the end of this lap, please. Yes, box. Copy, box, box. So Gasly will have to stack up behind Russell. And Russell is uh, practically on the back of these guys in front as well, just as we thought. He is going to get that gap down just as we reach the pits. This in itself could really hurt both drivers, Gasly in particular, because we're at the end of the pit lane. These guys are all at the front, so there's every chance Russell's going to get held on release. There's the rain. Right oh, the it's coming at the point where I don't think these guys are going to get to the pits before the decision to box kicks in. They might stay out for another lap here. They are staying out front of the lap. Oh, there we go. That's going to put us in real contention now for first and second. Leclerc should box. No, Leclerc stayed out. As did Ocon. Joe's going to box, surely. Yeah, they're all coming out. Look, here we go. So we're going to have a few cars in front. Everyone behind us, bar the odd one or two, whose teammate is already in the pits is going to be uh, diving in as well. And now we're going to have uh, some slow traffic to contend with. Oh, <laughs> there's for sure again. Out of the way for sure. Russell has not cleared Vettel. He needs to. Oh, look at him crawling around. And there we go. Both cars are through. And now Gasly is uh, in prime position to attack. There'll be no DRS, so it's going to come straight down to pure pace. And if I remember rightly, George okay, has slightly better... Um, not awareness. Um, adaptability. Than Pierre. But Pierre's got the slipstream. Okay, Ricciardo likely to box. Ricciardo likely to box this lap. Everyone else dives in. Gasly's going to look and try and go around the outside. We have the one two. Gasly absolutely has to win this race. But he needs Russell to finish in sixth or worse. And there's still the threat that we may potentially have to go full wets at some point. 
It's uncertain at this, you know, at this point in time whether or not we will need full wets, and if we do, it might not be for very long. And these two are just going to be driving side by side for almost all of the lap, every lap now, <laughs> I think, until until Gasly can finally get through. He has got a little bit more pace than Russell, it would seem. But is that going to be enough? We've got a lot more spare fuel than I thought we would at this point. Let's take a quick look at the weather. It's not predicting full wets on the track condition yet. We'll see what happens when the next block ticks over. Uh, these tyres will comfortably last. We have a McLaren. Is that in the pit? No, it's on track. And that's Sonoda. So taking for short out of the equation, this is the first car to get properly lapped and it's taken until in the 50s for that to happen. <clears throat> Again, it's an indication of how close, close the field has been this season. We've had so many races where cars just haven't been lapped at all. Is Sonoda going to play a part here in this fight between our two drivers? Let's just check they are both... Yep, neither of them are forced to drive in clean air. With the conditions like this, this is actually starting to favour George a little bit more than Pierre. To that slightly higher adaptability of his. If it goes back up to about two mil, George will probably be slightly slower than Gasly again. Is Sonoda going to get in the way? He's getting in the way of Gasly really badly there. Oh, Gasly's having no luck with the traffic today. How are we doing against the rest of the field? We're lapping a little bit quicker than Ricardo. Snappen is flying. The times are coming down thanks to the uh, track getting a little bit drier. Gasly obviously there's a slow lap getting held up there. We've got more traffic in front. Gasly's got that gap down to less than a second again. Oh, are you kidding me? Again? He 
he just cannot catch a break. Alright, increased weather in four minutes, and yeah, it's going to stay damp according to this. It's not going to go full wet. So it looks as though these inters are going to go through to the end. It's going to get potentially very close to dry at the end of the Grand Prix as well, looking at that prediction. Is George going to win the title in style with a win? Been a fascinating season. Gasly was the quicker of the two at the start of the season, but was a lot more unpredictable. He had a couple of crashes, lost some big points early on. George opened up a big lead. And then Gasly just whittled away at that as he started to get some wins of his own. But the pace difference between the two drivers equalised. And Russell's just been so consistent this season compared to Gasly. And he's opened that gap back up again over the last couple of races. Pierre's not going down without a fight, though. He is still closing that gap. It's two tenths faster on that last lap. Oh, and this time Gasly can get through without being held up horrendously. I think George might have got held up slightly, actually. Gap is down by another half a second. Let's have a look at the times across the line. Yeah, 14-4 against the 13-9. Russell did lose a couple of tenths to, uh, to Schumacher there. No, to Joe. Bottas is down in 11th. He's not far off the points, actually. I thought he'd be further down than that. And he's, uh, he's right on the back of Alonso. And that's the gap at less than a second. Gasly will be getting the slipstream about now. And here comes the uh, slightly heavier rain. See the track is starting to definitely look a lot wetter. It's still creeping up. Oh, 
<coughs> Excuse me. Gas down to just half a second now. It's getting very, very close again. And we've got no traffic to worry about for a while. Next up is uh, Magnuson. Ricardo has broken away from Verstappen. Probably thanks to the traffic, although Verstappen is definitely quicker. Stroll in sixth place right now. That's a great result for him. And the laps are ticking on mine. We're on lap 60 already. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. Who's that for and where? Someone running wide. Just had a car run wide. It's Norris. Let's have a look. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. Uh, nobody around him didn't affect him too badly there. Sixteen two for Gasly, sixteen five for Russell. Ricardo does a sixteen six. Joe's in the box. Oh, Russell goes wide. Gasly has the lead. That. They've run wide. Let's take a closer look. Now we see the Williams here. And Gasly just swoops on through. Way wide. It's not the first time Russell's made that mistake this Grand Prix. Schumacher in the pits as well. Don't tell me they're boxing for wets. It's going to go dry in nine minutes. Is there going to be yet another sting in the tail? Someone else running wide. Show. Just come out the pits and immediately locks up. He's on fresh inters. Have they really worn their tyres out that much already? How? Why? Why did they box? I need, I need to see what their tyres were. Oh, Joe was on wets. Oh, he went full wets. And Schumacher was on wets as well. Ah, no wonder. No wonder they box. Is anybody else on wets? No, everyone else is on enters. Oh, now it's Gasly going wide at that corner. Both drivers are feeling the pressure here. We can take a look now. Now look at this. It's Pierre Gasly. Carbon copy of Russell's mistake. Uh, a lap later. He's to have had a hell of a scrap all throughout the season.
rain is starting to ease off a bit. How quickly is it going to dry up? Are we going to have to switch onto dry compound tyres? Gasly going for a move up the inside. Can't get through there. Can he get the braking done? Russell holds on for another corner. And Verstappen is right back on uh, Ricardo now. Sainz has dropped back. He was held up a bit by uh, Sonoda trying to get through. Stroll still hanging on to sixth place, although he's got Leclerc, Ocon, and Albon, and Bottas, and even Alonso, all right behind him. He's got to be holding everybody up. Let's have a quick look at Stroll here. Seven laps remaining. Just seven laps to go. They are side by side again. Oh, we got... <laughs> <laughs> We've got that Haas in the way again. Who's he going to hold up? Oh, he chopped in front of Gasly again. Oh, my God. Poor Gasly just cannot get lucky. Stroll somehow still holding everyone else back. We've got another yellow flag. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. It's a lockup, and that could be costly. That's going to be a. Oh, so Gasly's got to do all that hard work of closing him down again. I don't think we're going to make it onto slicks. I think it's going to stay as is. It's threatening dry in four minutes, but I don't think there's going to be enough laps. I don't... Well, maybe. Maybe. We will give Gasly priority. All right, gap is back to half a second. Even if Gasly does manage to get past Russell and hold the position, it will not be enough. He's going to need some outside intervention. He's going to need a retirement or at least uh, an accident for Russell. A puncture or a broken front wing, something to move Russell down the order a bit. laps remaining there's not going to be enough time to make the switch onto softs Ooh. 
track isn't going to dry up quickly enough so it is down to these last few laps on inters on a track that is drying could the DRS activate on the last lap and give Gasly an opportunity that would be something could the conditions be such that uh, one of these two is going to lock up go into a barrier who knows it's it's going to go down to the last corners of the last lap this fight between the two to see whether or not Gasly can somehow keep his championship hopes alive can he hang on to that number one that's on his car or is he going to have to give it to his teammate remaining we've got another yellow flag someone has spun it's an hour it's oh it's stroll we've just had a spin here's the replay now let's have a look it's just stroll. praising him and saying yeah <laughs> i was gonna say they i normally shit all over stroll and disaster. usually for good reason but he's had a hell of a race today and then <laughs> he just throws it all away the team are devastated. <laughs> oh he's just Don't lost so many just places He's down in 12th. He was running in 6th. Let's see, Leclerc did a 115.4 last lap. Let's see what he does on this lap. Still, the track dries up a little bit. It's going to possibly activate the DRS for the final lap. It's going to be so Three close. Copy. And there we go, <laughs> Leclerc, I mean the track dried up a little bit, but he went a second and a half faster with Stroll out of the way. Although Stroll hit a 114.0. That was a quick lap for Stroll. Maybe he wasn't holding them up. More traffic in front. Two laps to go. Cover it. And I think that's Schumacher in front. It is. Is he going to play a part in this? Could Schumacher inadvertently decide who wins this Grand Prix? Let's face it, if someone's going to get held up, it's almost certainly going to be Gasly, because it always has been in this race for whatever reason. He's just had no luck. DRS is probably... Oh, oh, the rain's going back up. It almost... Almost activated the DRS. Gasly is struggling in these conditions. This is it. This is the final lap. Okay, final lap. Final lap.
This has been such a, an intriguing fight all race long between these two. And Verstappen gets past Ricardo. No, Ricardo holds him off. They're side by side. Verstappen has the inside line, I think. Oh, they're still side by side. I kind of want to watch, but I don't want to turn away from the, the fight for the lead. Russell's going to win. Oh! DRS is going to activate. Is this going to change the race? We've got a, a yellow flag in sector one. DRS is open, but he's not got enough space to catch him. We've had a car run wide. There we go, it's over. Okay, nice. Who's going to win across the line here? Ricardo's going to get him. Ricardo got him. Fantastic. Wow. Let's have a look. And coming in first, it's George Russell. Real drama across the line there. Russell wins the race and the world championship. We've already wrapped up the constructors a long time ago. And there he is, your 2024 Drivers World Champion, George Russell. And Ricardo just sneaking third place on the line. What a great battle between those two in the dying stages. Perez has been nowhere all race and he's going to come home in 15th behind Porsche Air, who's had all sorts of issues <laughs> this weekend and yet still manages to get back in front of Perez. Deserved it. Yeah, Russell did deserve it. You know, ultimately whoever wins it deserves it because they've, they've uh, earned the points but yeah, it's been, an, it's been a fantastic race uh, and a fantastic season for both drivers, but especially for George. He's just been... He's not been faultless, but he's been so much more consistent than Gasly. Gasly's had moments of pure brilliance, but he's also had moments of sheer, sheer lunacy as well, whereas George has been much more reserved, much more careful, and, and brought the car today, home George much Russell, more consistently. Motorsport proud. podium is a brilliant reward for everyone's hard work over the weekend. And right now it's the British driver who proudly takes his place on the podium. But there we have all three drivers that are taking home the silverware along with the most valuable points. Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. Yes, there's definitely cause for celebration here. This team can take anything that's thrown at them and come through even stronger. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. There we go. Confirmation of the result. George wins the race and the World Championship. It was a spirited fight from Gasly. He got really unlucky with the traffic, but in the end, George did enough. And so he will now be the uh, champion and the bearer of the number one on the Williams next season. Great, great drive from Ricardo. Up four places to finish in third and sneaking the podium on the line by just 38 thousandths of a second. 
That was a great little finish there. The DRS kicking in really did prove to be the uh, the turning point in their little fight right at the end there. Uh, good drive from Albon, gaining a lot of positions. Everyone else losing a lot of positions uh, due to uh, just some weird decisions. Bottas in particular. You know, very strange to box two laps before the rain came uh, for another set of hard tyres. Good drive for Norris, gaining six places, but he couldn't quite get in the points. Uh, good recovery from, pa uh, from Porsche, starting from near the back, thanks to his penalties. Magnussen also Im improving a little bit. Perez, disappointing race for him, didn't really do anything at all. For sure, just going around with no front wing for most of the race. Uh, and Schumacher and Joe, who at one point were looking like they had some real promise of points. Going onto wet tyres when nobody else did, it didn't work for them. And uh, yeah, they paid the price for the team's lack of foresight there. In the Drivers' Championship, with one race to go, the gap is now uh, 48 points. No. Yes, 48 points. With uh, only 26 available. So George confirmed as the champion. That was his 11th win of the season, his 19th podium. And there you can just see the consistency difference. Pierre with 8 wins, 17 podiums. That's the difference between the two. Uh, Verstappen stays in third. Uh, Sainz doesn't manage to close the gap on him. Actually loses a couple of points. Uh, Leclerc picks up a few points. Pulls him just ahead of Bottas. Uh, they were tied. He is now uh, two points clear. It's going to be interesting to see between those two who can uh, finish in fifth. I think Sainz is probably confirmed for fourth now. Uh, Perez all the way down in seventh he has had a win this season but he's been so poor in the second half of the season partly down to just weird results mistakes by him sometimes t you know things taken out of his control uh, you know he was torpedoed in the last race that did not help him and caused him to have a penalty for the start of this one but yeah it's been a very disappointing second half of the season for him and he's just dropped out of the picture completely. Uh, Ocon getting a couple of points. Big points for Ricardo there um, with that podium. That gives him a huge jump. And he could possibly challenge Ocon for 8th in the standings. Albon moves up to 12th uh, over Alonso with those uh, big 8 points for him. And no change there. Everyone has scored points. And uh, they see the Constructors' Championship. We won that a long time ago. But... Look at this, Alpha Tauri in 10th place, 43 points. That's a huge figure for the team in last place in the Constructors. That's how close the midfield has been. There is no real midfield anymore. You know, I mean, there kind of is, but it's a very stretched midfield. You know, uh, Mercedes are not really in the fight. It's been very close between these two. We've dominated the season. It's still up for grabs between Ferrari and Red Bull as to who's going to finish second in the championship. That will be decided in the next race uh, at the final race of the season. Mercedes are finishing fourth. Alpine are going to finish fifth. And then, well, we could see some movement from any of these teams from sixth down to tenth in the final race. Uh, a big result for one of those teams could score massive points, could see them jump up. Another good result like this from Alfa We'll see them move off the bottom and take the points and position from Alfa Romeo. Uh, points for Alfa Romeo over Aston. We'll see them swap places. Haas aren't that far out of reach. And even McLaren. It's only 10 points between the two. A strong finish from Magnussen in the next race. Who knows? Uh, he was very, very quick. So we have a look at the race breakdown. An impressive race from George. 13 overtakes, 29 successful defences, 18 failed overtakes, 5 failed defences. Uh, an exceptional race for Pierre. Uh, 14 overtakes, 13 failed defences, 31 failed overtakes, only 3 failed defences. Uh, just didn't quite have enough to, uh, to get in front of his teammate and stay in front. When Russell went wide and Gasly dove through, I thought that was it. 
that was the moment that Gasly was going to go ahead and win the race. And then Gasly went off in the exact same spot just one lap later. And Russell went straight back through again. Uh, we do achieve all of our sponsor objectives. Uh, so it's another 4.9 million in the bank, ready for next season. And let's check our inbox. There we go. The usual email gump that we get every uh, after every race. When do those uh, developments finish? When they finish after the season has ended. Okay, uh, let's advance time. There we go. The memorabilia room is in poor condition. Let's give that a refurb. Uh, is there anything else that can be fixed or needs to be fixed? We do need to upgrade the CFD simulator. I do now have the funds for that. No, I don't. Because I just upgrade. I just did a brief. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that'll have to be uh, upgraded after Abu Dhabi. Oh dear. Did it again. Uh, what is the email that hasn't been read? Maybe it's the race prep one. Yeah, it's been cleared now. Uh, so there we go. Uh, we are ready for the final Grand Prix of the season. That'll be tomorrow night's race. And then after that, we will go through to the end of the calendar year and we'll have a glimpse at the start of the next season just to see what happens with driver movement and stuff uh, before we replace uh, Gasly with uh, Behrman. And then that will be the end of this Williams career. We will not be doing season four with Williams, uh, but we will... Uh, on Friday, be picking up season three, the start of season three with uh, our Aston Martin Challenge Mode series. Do not forget, I will be starting uh, that race uh, a little bit earlier than normal. I'll be starting at eight o'clock UK time rather than nine because we'll have that entire pre season period to go through before we get to and then through the race at Bahrain. Uh, and that will usually add about an extra hour onto the uh, duration of the stream. So we'll start an hour earlier and uh, finish probably around about the same sort of time. Uh, so until then, until tomorrow night's uh, race where there's nothing up for grabs for us apart from another last to first challenge. But uh, it is still all up for grabs for the fight for second in the constructors. So there will be something to pay attention to. And we'll probably pay more attention to what's going on to everybody else rather than our drivers um, to see who's going to finish in that fight. We'll keep an eye on the Ferraris and the Red Bulls uh, in tomorrow night's race. But that will be uh, the season conclusion and the end of the Williams uh, series tomorrow at 9 p.m. So until then, thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more F1 Manager very soon. <laughs>